Hey, fourth grade friends, how are you today? I hope all is well. I hope you're continuing to remain safe, remembering to social distance, wash your hands, not to touch your face, and to watch your distance. Today is December the 16th, and we just have a few things to talk about today, so hopefully it'll be a fairly short video. I guess we'll see. Let's jump right in. It is December the 16th, and look, we have this pentomino. And as you can see, they started to repeat themselves after the 12th day of the month. But they just look a little different because they've been rotated some. Um, and so our information on our um, observation chart should match the same as December 4th. We know that there are four sides, so this looks like a rectangle. It does have an area of five square units. And it does have a perimeter of 12, five on top, five on the bottom, that's 10, 11, and 12. So we can go ahead and we can fill that in for today. And let me get on the right page here. Okay, so we know that it has um, four sides. We know that the perimeter is still 12. We know that the area is still five. The question is, um, are there lines of symmetry here? And if so, how many? Yes, we can fold it down the middle and we can fold it vertically and horizontally. So I would say at least two lines of symmetry. How about our parallel sides? We have one, two, these are parallel, three, four. So that gives us four parallel sides. And then you probably already can tell that we have four perpendicular sides because there's a corner here, 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 and then up here. So good job. I also want to remind you about what a pentomino is. Um, remember the other day we kind of talked about pentominoes being those um, shapes that have five squares, five sides, or an area of five units in that it always touches. One side is always touching another. So I want to remind you of what our definition was. I'll just move this down. So five congruent shapes, they're the same size, same shape. They are, they are squares. And at least one side is touching another. And so I gave you the challenge. I said, see how many different pentominoes you could make. And so you were supposed to take some number corner time one of those days that we worked on that and figure out how many you can make. And then we talked about how many could possibly be made. So if you haven't made your pentominoes, go ahead and do so. And I will show you at the end of this video all the different pentominoes so that you can still make them. You can make all the different ones possible and then maybe make be able to make some predictions about what the rest of the month will look like since the pentominoes are rotated in different um, directions, okay? But for now, we are going to update our race or our up and down to 2000. And we know that we've already made it well past 2000. So we are gonna spin for today. We're gonna figure out what our total is gonna be. And when we figure it out today, I want us to use the standard algorithm. So let's go ahead and get ready to toss. I'm gonna to toss our numbers, and I am gonna to toss our more or less dice. I'm really hoping that we get less today so that we can practice some subtraction, especially if we're gonna use the standard algorithm. So it looks like we got two, four, four. So I'm gonna give us a challenge today. We are going to um, make our number just like we normally would, and we are gonna add it because we did get more. But then I would also like us to challenge ourselves to subtract the same number that we are going to make today from, the, from our total that we got yesterday. So we will have a new total for today based on what we've rolled, but I also want to practice subtraction. So here is our day 12, and we roll the numbers. Um, we're done with that. So we roll the numbers 2, 4, and 4. So what number should we make? 
probably 442. And we're starting at 3,985. So I'm going to put that on our 3,985. And we are adding um, 442. I believe that's what it was. So let's work that out. Go ahead and pause this video so you can work that, this out using the standard algorithm. All right, so hopefully you have worked this out using the standard algorithm. And we are going to review what you should have gotten today. Now, if you're still having trouble using the standard algorithm, remember that we do have some strategies that you are more than welcome to use, such as um, using your knowledge of place value to add in chunks, starting from um, like getting to a friendly number and then completing your jumps on a number line or just simply adding up the place values and then putting them together, kind of like we did with our expanded form. But today, I really want to focus just on our standard algorithm. So we have five ones plus two ones, which is seven ones. Then we have eight tens plus four tens, which really is 80 plus 40. And that's going to give me 120. And when I write 120, I cannot fit 120 all in the tens place. I now know that I have 100 and I have 20, which is two tens. Okay, so this two is worth 20. Now I have nine hundreds plus 100 from my tens place that we had to regroup plus my 400, which means I have a thousand plus 400 is 1,400. So I'm going to have to regroup again. I'm going to put my thousand in the thousands place and my hundred in the hundreds place. And that four represents the 400. Now I have 3,000 plus another thousand, which is going to give me 4,427. Is that what you got? If that's what you got, awesome. I'm so impressed. Another way that you could check your work is you can use your knowledge of rounding. So this number is really close to 4,000. This is close to 400. So our number should be close to 4,400. And it definitely is. And now for our challenge, since we didn't really have time or we didn't roll enough um, dice that had less this month, I want us to also subtract 442 from our original number. Obviously, our total for today is 4,427. So we really beat our, 2000, our goal of getting to 2,000. We are way past 2,000. So now I want to see what's going to happen when we subtract. Go ahead and pause this video and work it out. All right, so let's work it out. <clears throat> we have five ones minus two ones, which is going to give us three ones. We have eight tens minus four tens, which is going to give us four tens. Nine hundreds minus four hundreds is five hundred. And then I have three thousand minus no thousands, which leaves me with three thousand five hundred forty three. This happened to be a really easy problem um, because we didn't have to do any regrouping. But if we did have to do regrouping, just remember that we could take a hundred dollar bill or a hundred and split them up into tens. Um, we could take a ten and split it up into one, just like getting change. In case you need to give somebody some change, you don't wanna give them too much. So that's another way that you could think about it. Great job today. I know it's a short video, but that's okay because we're really close to Christmas break anyway. So happy early gift with this short video. You guys have a great rest of your day, great afternoon, and I'll see you back here tomorrow. Bye-bye.